This was my first tournament at Brown Belt, and I lost. The match was pretty close, but to this day, I'm still a little bit unsure of the scoring, as the ref, Eric Fan, is a teammate of my opponent. And there were a couple times where I felt I should have received points, but didn't. I'm not bitter or accusing Eric of favoritism. I just figured that it'd be great to break down a loss, as well as get viewer insight into the scoring. This is the semi-final match at the 2017 Ontario Open in the Black and Brown Belt Open Weight Division. Canada's biggest tournament. I was promoted to brown belt just three weeks before this tournament, after having been a purple belt just over a year. In the quarterfinals, I had just beat a black belt much larger than me and was coming into this match with a lot of confidence. But this is Nathan Dos Santos, one of Canada's most accomplished grapplers and not an easy guy to beat. Before we break down the match, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Element. If you love training jiu-jitsu, then you probably want to train as often as possible. But then you also know that a lot of training can lead to a lot of fatigue, as well as muscle cramps. I've been having trouble with these two problems for the longest time, and they've really hindered my ability to train and recover. Now, the reason that this happens is due to the loss of electrolytes through sweat, primarily being sodium, and when sodium isn't adequately replaced, that's when fatigue and muscle cramps kick in, which is why I started drinking Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with a science-backed electrolyte ratio of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. It comes with no sugar, no coloring, no artificial flavors, none of that junk. On top of that, Element is used by everyone from NBA, NFL, NHL players, Olympic athletes, Navy SEALs, to everyday exercise enthusiasts. And right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Jordan Teaches. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to drinklmnt.com slash Jordan Teaches. The match starts off with Nathan having pulled guard before the filming started. I tried for a quick Toriano pass, but wasn't able to stop Nathan from bringing his left foot to the inside for lasso guard. He now abandons lasso for close guard, which is also a very tough guard to pass. With the two-on-one grip that he has on my arm, he wants to use the arm drag to either take my back or sweep me with it, which is a great system also used by the Gi Jiu-Jitsu goat, Hodger Gracie. To counter his attack, I take my knee off the mat to pinch it inwards to control his hips. Now he won't be able to take an angle on me to take my back. We grip fight for a bit, but not much happens. Eventually, we both get penalties for stalling to the displeasure of Nathan's coach, who believes that I'm the one stalling. So he's stalling Eric. Just standing and putting his knees back down. How are you gonna stall for Nate? Nate's been crossing the arm, Eric. That's crazy, man. But Nathan is reluctant to open his guard and the grips that he's taking put me at risk to proceed. I would love to get out of here to further the role, but I can't just try to advance with reckless abandon. Despite him attacking my legs as I work to stand up, I just stand up anyways. Because I have his sleeve, he can't use that arm to attack and I'm in a relatively safe position. Finally, he opens up and we can get going to make this match more exciting. I need to step over his right foot to enter into headquarters, but I wasn't able to and now I'm at risk of a Baron Bolo. Rather than trying to stop the Bolo, I instead try to re-Bolo him. Re-Boloing is something that I'm very confident in my ability to do. What a re-Bolo is, is changing who has the dominant knee positioning while your opponent attacks your back, so you can take their back. I almost get there, but I end up on the bottom and have to kind of muscle my way to top position where I end up in top side control. I don't understand the point system in depth like a ref does, but I felt like I should have received sweep points for this or at the very least start in the same position. <laughs> but Nathan is awarded an advantage and we reset, which is exactly what his coach was asking for. Reset, reset. Let me know if you agree with this scoring. We reset and I go in all nonchalant as I like to give the impression to my opponents that I'm not worried one bit what they're gonna do. We grip fight and Nathan hits one of my favorite moves on me, the fake guard pull ankle pick. I had just hit a pretty sweet ankle pick in the match prior to this, so it really sucked to be down two points now from Nathan hitting one on me. I wasn't as disciplined to use my T-Rex arms at this point in my jiu-jitsu career and almost let Nathan take control of my head, but I off-balance him before he can secure a crossface. And now I have him in reverse De La Hiva with an added lasso grip, which is tough to pass but also tough for me to attack from. 
so I take my lasso out and insert a butterfly hook onto his shin to lift him up using it, as I block his left arm from posting. I lose his shin but I gain his hips for a butterfly sweep, but I'm unable to consolidate a safe position as I come up on top. I'm in an awkward position but I trust my flexibility and bring my leg in front of his head and then back for half guard. I should have faster prioritized taking better control of his head and taking an underhook on his right arm because with the lack of control over him, he's able to manipulate my weight using the grip that he has on my collar. He ends up getting a bit of a scrambly sweep and the match goes from 2-2 to 4-2 in his favor. We're out of bounds so we restart not standing like earlier but back in the same position that we left off in. Which is good for me anyways as I'm having more success in my guard than I am passing. I go to work and I'm able to secure single leg X. But I have more confidence in my X guard. So I underhook his leg and bring both feet inside his hips to secure X guard. To sweep I drop my right instep down to his ankle to block him from posting and off balance him towards his butt. I still use this sweep all the time. I've now evened up the score at 4-4, but again, I didn't consolidate a great position to pass from. And Nathan goes to work on a barambolo. I try to attack his legs unsuccessfully, and he comes up on top for another two points. I should have fought harder for this wrestle up, but they weren't a big part of my game back then. Now I love to wrestle up. I elevate Nathan and perform a back roll to sweep, but Nathan's left arm posting keeps my weight away from him and I'm unable to control him. Nathan gets an advantage I think, but shouldn't that have went to me? If you're a ref, let me know. We start again and I try to time his guard pull to grab his legs as he does, hoping to get some easy takedown points. I was trying to game the system a bit, but no luck. No points for me, which I understand. But it would have been nice to tie the match 6-6, but I'm still behind by 2. Nathan retains his close guard for the rest of the match and that's all she wrote. I lost 6-4, but no big deal. Still a great experience and a very high level podium. Again, I'm not bitter about the loss or accusing Eric of favoritism. He's a great ref and grappler. I'm just asking questions and would like to better understand the points and advantages awarded. Make sure to sign up for my newsletter for free jujitsu tips every single week. Make sure to pick up my jujitsu theory course to expedite your jujitsu knowledge. All right, thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. If you're still here, please leave a comment or a fist bump and I'll see you guys next time.